Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I'm gonna do another pilot DD20 mode run. Not blessed, not cursed, just a straight up DD20 run because I want to. I I enjoy these DD20 mode runs. I feel like I'm getting better at them, at the game in general. And really, that's all this is about right now is practice. I gotta practice for the moment when I actually do attempt to do like a streak. Maybe not on DD20 though. DD20 is it's far too random, I think, to reliably do streaking on. I think something like a cursed mode run would be a lot easier. Maybe even blessed mode might be easier to try to get streaks done on. But DD20 is just way too random. You know, you might get a you might get a mind flayer fight that is incredibly difficult and nearly impossible. And then you might be like, ah, oh, damn it, game game screwed me out of the out of the victory. You know, you get a, a mind flayer with like high stress, you accidentally take a hit, and then you just roll into an enemy. It really does suck when that happens. I would like that to not happen. Don't hit the water barrel. Thank you. He freaking just, he attacked his own grenades, I think. Good, 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 water barrel is still intact. I do worry about enemies sometimes destroying the water barrel in this room, and then like, the other water barrel gets destroyed because it's Shockwave, or Gull's Revenge, or something, or Hammer Time, and a lot of bolts go flying all over the place. So getting the, getting the fireplace opened up right now is really nice. This is nice that this room doesn't have nasty enemies on it. I can actually take a moment to find the king and kill him without having to worry about Gull's Revenge or anything. And honestly, you know, let's, let's, Create some fire. I got one of them. Yes, walk into the fire. And a blank, which will hopefully allow us to get a flawless on this floor. So yeah, I, I'm I'm enjoying the the DD20 runs for, runs for the most part. Yes, it's difficult. That's that's kind of kind of a little bit of the point. Point is, I want to get challenged. I want to lose with like 50% or higher chance. I want to have a very difficult run that I'm going to have to play superbly on in order to win. And that is right up my alley right now. Get out of here, hammer. That's a reference. Or hammer. For some reason, I'm thinking that's a reference to something, or I can make it a reference to something, but I really have no idea what. Hammer. Hammer. What am I trying to think of? I'm trying to think of, like, a show or something. One of the characters' names is Hammer? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look, it's still a little bit early in the morning today for this. Yeah, as long as it's not pot shots and I accidentally walk into a pot, I'm fine. That's the worst. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta play better. I gotta have a better ability to look at the modifiers when a room opens. Hell, maybe even open the gun switch menu. Well, I guess I need another gun for that, but as soon as I get another gun, I can open the gun switch menu to maybe to uh, give myself an extra second to kind of think about what's going on. I don't understand this room. This room is is trivial. There's there's nothing happening. Like I just I just stand here. They can't hit me. It's basically free money. As long as a ghost doesn't spawn. Ah, eh, ghost spawn. Maybe the ghost will drop some money though. Eh, the room dropped money at least. Don't blink, rat's revenge. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about microing the killing of these guys. Although I might with the, the smallest blobs here. So like this, we kind of just do that. Nice. It's a trick I learned walking over a chicken or something. You like walk into a chicken when they're uh, when they're jammed. They actually turn unjammed because of the, the collision with the flashlight on Don't Blink. Which is kind of annoying, but it does mean that you have a okay chance 
at actually being able to uh, roll into those blobs when they're jammed and just kill them. Gorgon's Gaze, Rest Revenge. So, I, I, by the way, I did try uh, y between the last episode and this one to check out the 1.14 beta patch on Steam for Enter the Gungeon, and it still is bugged where sound effects don't play properly, so I'm not gonna be playing that until it gets a, a, a proper release. I kept meaning to look at it, and I kept forgetting, and then when I actually did it, you know, I realized that that was the case. Which I, which I honestly expected, because I remember that from when I was trying it before, but basically... That's, uh, not gonna be a patch that I play. Explosive Pyre Thermal Cliffs. It's actually not that bad. Now, of course, this is a very annoying boss fight. But, okay, I almost just got myself hit right there for no reason. But as long as I do this carefully, we should be able to kill this guy. I just gotta fire seven times and then reload. I can't fire the eighth shot or else I will light myself on fire. Now, sometimes I might want there to be fire. You know what, just stand back. Sometimes I might want there to be fire if I can get him to walk into the fire. But that is not something that's going to be a guarantee to happen. Okay, I just got hit right there. I I'm trying to keep the blanks alive. This is going to be an annoying fight. I did that on purpose. So I want to try to get him to walk into the fire. Which he's kind of doing. It's not adrenaline rush or anything. There's no modifiers that I need to worry about except the thermal clips. Because explosive pyre doesn't do anything because he doesn't spawn any enemies. You know what? Just pop it. Okay, a little bit risky. There we go, long fight. You know, the pilot's starting weapon is kind of garbage. But this is the only floor where we're really gonna be relying on the starting weapon. After this floor, we're gonna have boss killers. And in fact, we've got one right now in the form of the Helix. Awesome. So first floor, flawless, done. check out these chests here. Try to look for a secret room as well. I don't have a blank, but is there a blank on the shop I can buy? Yeah, we'll check that out in a second. There's no blank that I can actually buy. So at this point, I could try to uh, find a way of hurting myself in order to uh, blank in a room because I've got the armor. Which might be the best course of action. Let, let me see if there's a explosive barrel somewhere, because if there is, I can just uh, roll that to hurt myself. So let's see if I can then uh, find that first, and then we'll find the secret room. If there is a secret room here, which hopefully there is. I think there was at least one room that had explosive barrels on it. I just can't remember. This room had it, but uh, apparently the barrels have been destroyed. That room, right up here to the right, would have at least one, but maybe those are already destroyed. No, it didn't. This one didn't have it. This is uh, the one that doesn't spawn two bulletkin. It spawns a bulletkin and a blob. All right. So it's looking like I'm not gonna be able to go to the secret room, which is fine. That's fine. I did use my blanks on the boss fight to guarantee the flawless, which I think is probably more important, let's be honest. Yeah, there is nothing here. So we are going to go down to the oubliette. I have one junk. I could sell the junk. I don't think that's necessary. I am going to sell the glass guanstone, though, because we're not going to keep this glass guanstone alive at all. I'd rather just get five cents. That guanstone is going to die. <laughs> There's no way that's gonna stay alive to be worth it. 
because I am probably gonna take a lot of damage. Not a, not a lot of damage, hopefully. I'll take some damage because, you know, the game's freaking hard. There's enemies abound, there's bad modifiers. I could just be standing in poison and take a hit. I could be firing unnecessarily with gun cue, start fires, roll into the fire or roll into a bullet. For ceramics, gun cue. So, I'm not that worried. There we go. I'm not that worried about uh, selling the Guan Stone, because I can at least get one thing out of it right now, one advantage, and that advantage is money. Do worry about this a little bit because of Blobulon Rancher, but as long as it's no veterans, I should be able to get most of my shots landing. Now there is gonna be a shotgunner, but at least when I'm horizontal to a shotgunner, he's easier to hit than a bullet can because they are taller. Cool. Explosive barrel, let's leave it in case I need it. I hurt myself. Adrenaline Rush Cursed Ceramics. I don't like that I had to do a dodge roll right there, but now I've got this uh, table. I can just hide behind the table, try to limit my dodging as much as possible. Even against this guy, it should not be a problem. Just kind of keep moving back and forth. He'll track my movement and not be able to hit me. Cool. There is also another cursed pot, I think, in one of the previous rooms, so if I do need to become cursed in order to visit a, uh, a super shop, we can do it. Just wanna get some distance. It is Blobby Lawn Rancher, so I wanna take care for most of my shots. I did spawn at least one blob. I hate that you uh, spawn blobs when you hit tables. I really wish it was only when you hit a wall. Not when you hit a barrel, not when you hit a cursed pot. I wish it was only when you hit a table. I think that was worth it. <laughs> One thing I'm gonna try to practice a little bit here, not only playing better, not only dodging better and all that good stuff, but also just using other weapons a little bit more. And you know, something I've been trying to do recently. And that means, you know, if I have a tough room, just kind of pop, pop the weapon switch, get a new gun out, even if it's something like the uh, the Helix, which is generally useful as a, a boss killer more than an enemy killer, it can still help me out a great deal here. Oh god, that's a lot of bullets. <laughs> Oh, I just stood there. <laughs> I thought I could dodge that. That's a that's a, a bad dodge, but that's also just like, for some reason my brain just was like, no, oh, you don't need to dodge that at all. Freaking final attack. The bullets look the exact same as the uh, the normal attacks that that Zubat does. That bullet. All right, no secret room here. Would like to open this if I can. Should probably do this after I fight the boss because then I'll probably get a different weapon that I can use. It's a little bit better at finding secret rooms than the Helix. High stress gun cue. The high stress part sucks, but I think we got it dealt with. I don't mind if I spend a couple of shots out of the helix. I've said it before, but that's one reason why I do like the pilot for this, for DD20 stuff, is because he has extra ammo capacity. So if you occasionally get a... You occasionally get a, a gun cue, it's not that bad. I did use a blank there. That's kind of my fault, actually. I didn't really intend to. 
But uh, I, for some reason in my brain, I still thought it was gun key. So I tried to reload to switch to the Helix and it didn't work. And I'm like, why can't I switch to the Helix? Wait a minute, I need a second to think. Blank, think for a second. Oh, right, because it's not actually gun key. That was the last room. At least it's just three bulletkin. But still, it's really annoying when there is a... Uh... A long live the king. Alright, leave. Long live the king, shockwave. I figured for a second there that I really just wanted to use the helix to try to just get that kill on this guy. I also enjoyed that the, uh, the crown wasn't centered on him at all, so it looked like it was uh, on his gun. His gun was the king. Alright. I didn't really want to have to do that, and I don't want to have to continue this room being fast, but... Try to stay alive, shall we? Now that I've got some distance on people, I should be safer. It's gonna get fast! It's gonna get fast. But this room is actually... big. So I have time to kind of back up, heal things slowly, Take my time. There will be reinforcements, grenades, bullets. Nothing too bad. Oh, that bullet bounced off the wall too fast. I took one hit, I used one blank. Almost lit myself on fire. Took one hit, used a blank. You know what? That's okay. Hard to see what the hell's going on, but we got it. I didn't really want to dodge as much as I did on this room, but the freaking dead eyes, man. They are a pain in the butt. We're still at full health, though. Can't complain about that too much. Room sucked. It's a bad modifier to get. I think if I didn't get adrenaline rush, I wouldn't have gotten hit by that bullet in my back. It was just very quick. So pot shots is going to be very annoying. I might even want to just like do this, kind of go out across the entire room, destroy everything so I don't have to worry about pot shots on the second wave. And the second wave is going to be worse than this wave because the second wave is going to have a sniper, a blob, maybe a veteran, but maybe it's just a random bulletkin. And this guy. The big problem is the bullet there, because when he shoots, his, his bullets will bounce around, hit pots. And those bouncy shots might eventually come back and hit me, so I wanted to try to knock off a lot of the, the trash on the level. Zone control, don't blink. Perfect. Step one, zone. I'm gonna try to push him into the pit if I can. So let's get them lined up. There we go. There we go. Got a little bit of extra money out of that. Quite a bit of money, actually. Poison Pursuit Ghost. Yo, I didn't see your laser for a second there, buddy. Snipers first. Even before that veteran, I think. If there's just one veteran, I can handle him. 
Uh, we have a lockpick, but if this is gonna be a good chest, I wanna get inside the room with the chest so I can open it. So let's use the lockpick here on the shop. It did work. We can actually buy a key. We can buy an elder blank too, dude. That would be awesome. Let's start with the key. Let's do a couple of rooms to get the lockpick charged, because I would still, if it's a, a blue or brown chest and it's wicked, I want to be able to use the lockpick on it. I have a chance of opening it for free. I would rather use my key on the green chest, but this might be a red or a black chest that's wicked, so I want to have the key for that. But first, we need to get the lockpick charged. I'm gonna try to, you know, be better about using my lockpick and stuff too. My items. I definitely, though, want that Elder Blank. You know, this is not a, a cursed run. I actually can take it and not have to worry about the repercussions right now. And an Elder Blank is awesome. If I can pick up something... Uh, let's do it now. If I can pick up something that maybe lets me uh, use it more frequently, like anything that gives me coolness upgrades, that would be awesome. If I have a... Whatever that item is that uses Blanks for you. Full Metal Jacket, that would be awesome. Lockpick worked. Um, I'm not gonna open the chest though because I do want to force the gun drop from the boss. I feel like I do want another gun because I'm a little bit low on guns. But Elder Blank is awesome. Now I have a reusable blank. I can use it whenever I want. I cannot feel as bad. If I go down to the Abbey, I also have means of accessing the secret rooms without having to use one of my precious few blanks. My real blanks, my hard blanks. Blanks I'm gonna need for the, the, the frickin' boss fight. Gorgon's Gaze, Shockwave. And for things like Shockwave, you know, I can actually... Bl blank the... Oh, I thought I was... thought my positioning was fine there. I can blank the Shockwave out of existence if I really, really want to. Still don't quite understand why... Those two modifiers together have the custom timing. Whatever. Yeah, where's the heart? There it is. Plenty of HP, so I don't worry about taking a little bit of damage. Even if I don't flawless the boss, A, it doesn't, doesn't matter, because you can't flawless the boss, but B, there's still at least one half heart on the floor, and then hopefully hearts from the boss itself. So let's go do this now. Gun Q, Poison Pursuit. So we're gonna be using a lot of ammo in Helix, that's fine. I don't mind using a little bit of uh, Helix ammo. I'm just gonna pop the blank here because I really don't like this attack. It's kind of annoying sometimes, having to try to dodge it. This one might be worth doing as well. Dude. Elder Blank is awesome! All I need now is a lot of damage upgrades to make it charge up faster. Coolness upgrades. Give me six chamber. Give me Cursula. I will buy all the Cursula shit. Still have enough ammo in the Helix to be relatively happy with it as well. You know, we might be able to use this to get the Flawless on the boss on the next floor. We've got a, another key, which is awesome. And the Cold 45, which is going to be a lot better at actually identifying secret rooms. Because it's a lot easier to hit with it. Alright. Chest contains piercing. Very good. As long as I don't have an explosive gun. If I pick up an RPG, a grenade launcher, uh, even something like a Zorgun, you know, I might want to think about getting rid of piercing. However, if I get something like Gunzang, homing shots, uh, remote bullets, uh, mega hand, heroin, then this item actually becomes more valuable. I think I already looked at these walls. I'm just checking again. Minecutter? Dude, Minecutter is totally acceptable. It's a pretty decent gun. 
I still wish that it was kind of changed a little bit so that the single shot did more damage than the triple shot, but you can spam the single shot a little bit more. But that's just kind of being a little bit, uh... A little bit, uh, unnecessarily pedantic about it. How do you use a key to get the old crest? Whatever. I want to check to try to find a secret room first. And I'm going to do that before I pick up the ar armored crest in case there's going to be mimics in the secret room. It has happened before. Might be in the shop? No. Okay, I have no idea where the secret room is. In that case, let's pick up the old crest and get the hell out of here. I, di I didn't see any, uh, any cracks in walls. Maybe there were some cracks somewhere. I'd feel bad about it because I should notice that, but we did our due diligence at least. We shot some walls. We blanked in the shop. We're done. Let's get out of here. I didn't find the secret room on the last floor either, did I? I don't know what weapons I want to use. I could use the Cold 45 to kind of keep myself safe, or I could use the Mine Cutter to kill things quickly. I could use them both. That might be a little bit too much ammo consumption, but... It gives me the best chance of actually getting it out of this floor and into the next floor. Don't blink, final attack, explosive pyre. Well, if it's don't blink, I'm just going to be using the starting pistol. Oh. I didn't think he actually spawned friends. And it's going to be two. That's one. Might as well try to get a little bit of cash out of this guy. Yeah, he dropped nothing. Okay. <laughs> we just got two cents from the room itself. Yeah, let's, let's stick with the mine cutter, I think. Oh, crap. All it takes is one mistake. And you hit the trap. Shockwave. Dark was the night, zone control. I can't shoot because it's zone control. Shockwave was destroyed. You know what? Just kind of wait. Shockwave's going to miss me. Actually, I do have a piercing shot, so maybe this is not that bad. I got to get him. <laughs> I, I can't not go kill that guy as quickly as possible. Even though there was a shockwave wave there. So we're gonna pick up helix ammo. Absolutely, no brainer. And I think I'll stick with the mine cutter. Seems like this might work pretty well for us. We'll buy a key, absolutely. We've got elder blank, it's halfway charged, it's getting there. Blobulon, rancher, gorgon's gaze. As long as we hit, we won't spawn a blob with our shot. We just gotta make sure we actually line up our shots. Ooh, please don't be the pea shooter. Without taking damage. Well, I gotta do that anyways, so this should be fine. Gorgon's Gaze Thermal Clips, dude, awesome. Oh, I'm... I can't shoot, but you know what? That's fine. I may have spawned a blob. I did not. So I, I did use my own blank instead of the Elder Blank. That was an accident, but we did get... Oh, I didn't have the money! <laughs> I didn't have the money! Oh, and so when I talked to him, I didn't read the actual prompt that happened, and... All right, okay, I got you. That is my bad, holy crap. I gotta be more careful about that, because I just bought the key, and I had no cash. 
A fine demonstration, perhaps next time speaketh with us first. I did! You did not accept my credit. <laughs> Alright, whatever. That's alright, we just missed out on one random item that we wouldn't have had the chance of getting anyways, you know? Kinda just don't need to use. Anything except for the pistol here. Still want to use the mine cutter though to keep the armor intact. Don't blink last bullet standing. This room kind of sucks a little bit. I kind of want them to come towards me. So if I can get these guys to approach me, then I can more easily take them out, I think. Still another one somewhere. Ah, mage. So it's don't blink, last bullet standing. There's another one somewhere, okay. There we go. Gun Q Cursed Ceramics Thermal Clips. Well, let's get my gun back. It takes three shots, or it takes two shots from this phase to kill a bullet can. It takes three shots from the other phase of the mine cutter to kill a bullet can. That's that's a big difference, you know? Gun key rat gorgon. So there's one, two, one, two. Right, gun key. I was very concerned for a second when I <laughs> when I switched gun to a new gun. As much as I want to open the chest, maybe a gun would be better. You know, our guns are not that bad for killing an old king. We've got explosions, we've got the helix. Let's open it. And you know what? The void core is pretty decent as well. That's some good guns. That's some good quality guns. Gotta remember the Elder Blank too. Explosive Pirate, Dark was the Night. Anytime I have the option, I should use my pistol to save ammo. Rats Revenge Hammer Time! Oh, sh crap, crap, crap! <laughs> I almost screwed that up. Big time. I accidentally reloading when I shouldn't have. Okay, we do not want to fight the boss yet. Keep exploring. Yo, mine cutter was exactly what I needed. An instant hit, hit scan, weapon, dark, cursed. Helps if I actually shoot my target, you know? You know, stick with this. It does so much more damage that it is a little bit more efficient. For a second I thought it was pot shots, but it was just the bullet kid shooting. Long live the king pot shots. Okay, well, there's the pot shots. I got hit, and I used a blank on the same frame. I mean, I saw the shots coming. That time I didn't really see what was coming. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can never get the damn old king shortcut on DD20 mode run. I always just end up taking one hit of damage, and that was the last room, too. Fuck. Like, I saw the bullet coming. Bloody 9 millimeter is awesome. I saw the bullet coming, and I blanked. It was just a little bit too fast for me. Uh, that's alright, that's alright. Let's get a couple of blanks. Haven't found the secret room, I don't think, but let's uh, worry about the boss fight right now. Probably gonna want the helix. Save the mine cutter for room clearing. Maybe use the cold 45 if I ever need to slow down the boss for some reason. Gold's Revenge, Gorgon's Gaze, Explosive Pyre. This is gonna be hard. I'm 
I'm already doing a lot of dodging in order to dodge the shots from the snake. Yeah, I can't actually hit hard enough, fast enough. I was looking at it. That was dumb. I still have plenty of blanks. That's not the problem. The problem is I'm letting this guy get buffed. We gotta, we gotta stop him from sucking up one of these, okay? Come on. No! Yes! You know what? Need something that has a little bit more, uh... Oh, he got it! Just thinking, I need something that has a little bit more, uh... Like, targeted damage, but I, really, I think the mine cutter would have been better instead of the cold 45 on my secondary slot. Whatever. We got the Corsair. Corsair is good for uh, cheesing the game mechanics a little bit by allowing you to shoot into a room without being into the room. I'll try to avoid doing that as much as I can. Let's blank in the shop. Nothing here. Let's go down to the next floor. I think we've got a, a pretty good run going on here. And we haven't taken very much damage. You know, I've taken damage when I needed not to, e.g. Pot shots. <laughs> as soon as pot shots appears, it's like, oh, there goes the armor. But uh, otherwise, it's been not bad. Yeah, I think I still want to just rock the, uh, the mine cutter here. Oh, thanks for that. Well, I'll be on Rancher. Dark was the night. Oh, I just stood there. I didn't stood there. I just got hit. Oh. Thanks, dog. Final attack, Cursed Ceramics, Blobulon Rancher. Interestingly, those guys don't have a final attack. Attack? I always think that they do. But they never end up having anything. No, I don't want this. Uh, I don't want the Void Core. I can't do much with the... Uh, Can't do much with the Corsair, can only fire once. Bit of an annoying room, but we made it work. Okay, we want Mine Cutter, Rogue Special. Long live the King. Oh, damn. Should have probably popped a blank. Or the Elder Blank. I thought I had the dodge, though. It's hard to get mad when you think you've got the dodge correct. It's hard to get mad at not using a blank, because, you, you know, you think you got it. Honestly, though, you know, using a blank might be the wrong call anyways, because I want to get the uh, the flawless, right? I want to get the flawless, I want to get that HP bonus, that permanent HP upgrade. That's probably more important than taking one armor damage on this room. Hell, the armor could have found a secret room, you know? Gun cube blob, explosive power king. Now, yes, I still need to use the damn blank that I have, especially the elder blank, but still, I don't mind all that much. What needs ammo? Helix needs 100 shots. Mine cutter needs 60. I'm going to take it for the helix. Because I'm going to still use the mine cutter for the remainder of the floor. If I get another ammo drop, I want it to go to that. But also, the my, the uh, Helix is my best boss killer, I think. Might actually be the, uh, like the Void Core, or maybe even the Mind Cutter, but I think that the, uh, the Helix is the best boss killer I have right now. I do want the Rogue Special in secondary, just in case. I have the option of killing something and saving a little bit of ammo. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. We got him. Yeah, it's like right here. <laughs> Finish him off with the damn starting pistol. Dark was the night, gun cue, don't blink. 
Uh, gun Q. So let's gun Q it up. Five. Mine Cutter, Mailbox, Void Core, Corsair. Might as well use the uh, starting pistol when I have a second. Same thing here. Save ammo and some of my other more important guns, perhaps. Hell, maybe what I should do is kind of open up with the Corsair shot, but I do worry about stuff like Unfriendly Fire or other weird modifiers that make it so that the, it's actually detrimental to open with a, a shot from a charged gun. Pop shot, gun Q. Oh, you're dead. Wait, Gorgon's Gaze, Ghost, Pot Shot, Gun Q. Okay. I got hit by something. I, don't, I actually don't know what I got hit by. Honestly, it was probably a Pot Shot, let's be honest. <laughs> How did I look at... Oh, there's someone being buffed and there's a buffer happening. Oh, there he is. I get it now. Okay, that's not good. You know what? I should have done that a long time ago. I, I got confused on this room. I thought it was like a last bullet standing or or something or like a long live the king, but in actuality it's a lot simpler than I thought it was. I don't know why for some reason I thought it was worse than it was. Maybe it's just because it was four modifiers and I'm like, oh, four modifiers, that's a lot of modifiers. No, I should have just started shooting as soon as I walked into the damn room. So that ended up not being all that difficult. Okay. Back to the pit. Zone control, okay, well now I can't shoot. Final attack, Blogulon Rancher, goals revenge. Lovely. Final attack, right. Like immediately as soon as it happened, I'm like, oh right. Where's the zones? Let me shoot. How did you not die? How are how are most of my shots missing? There we go. That was an annoying room. You know what? Let's go. Uh, let's go heal. I'm cursed, so it doesn't matter if the pot is there. Taking a little bit of dumb damage, but I, I'm getting a little bit flustered by some of the modifiers and some of the rooms that I'm coming across. So let's let's stop that, okay? Goals Revenge, Gun Q, Zone Control. Oh, I didn't even see you. I don't know how this, this, this room ended up working out, but it did. You know, just shoot. Can't shoot him! <laughs> My shots, they don't land. All right, all right, all right. Didn't even see you. We done. We done. At least I didn't get hit on that room, but I do, do feel like I didn't handle it all that well. All right, shot man, you have the sling. The sling is really good. If I don't get a better, I pick up a key. If I don't get a better, like boss killing gun on the floor, I might want to buy the sling just so that I know that I have something that I can use to fight the boss with from now until the end of the game. Uh, I should not have been standing here. I'm going to accidentally despawn the hammer, but. Long live the king, adrenaline rush, don't blink. Okay, okay. It's not gun cue. I don't know why I thought it was. Yeah. 
know what? You should die. How come you can't die? Oh, it's long live the king. That's why nothing's taking damage. Okay, where's the king? You're the king. Yeah, I got it now. You should not have been able to shoot a bullet at me because you are still... You were still uh, in your dying animation. And you're stunned! You should not have had control of your bullets, Mushroom. I feel a little bit bad there because I did accidentally... Well, not accidentally, but I kind of got stuck in the doorframe because I wasn't sure what I should be doing and then I accidentally despawned the hammer. Briefcase of cash. Okay, so we got a lot of money now. We might as well buy everything we can, so we will buy the sling. I'm not going to worry about the HP because I might not need it. But I suppose that's that's an alright pickup. We'll buy every blank, every item we come across that's good. And I do think the sling is worth buying. Hammer is okay. I should have used the Elder Blank. That was incredibly dumb. But at least now I don't have to worry about using Elder Blank ever again because I've got Little Bomber. But yeah, I should have definitely have just popped the Elder Blank there. Little Bomber's not going to be good for combat because remember, I do have the Piercing uh, Passive, which means that the explosives won't actually explode on target. But yeah, that was, that was super dumb. I should have 100% used my uh, Elder Blank. That's okay, we're fighting the boss right now. We want Helix or Sling. Probably the Sling. Uh, no, we want Helix. I do not want to have to worry about Thermal Clips. Glad I ended up using a blank there instead of trying to do the dodge on my own why it's nice to have alternative weapons. He's approaching me, so I'm gonna have to move. Should not need to use a blank during this phase. Flawless is the most important thing right now. Also, remember to keep reloading. The Helix takes a long time to reload, but it's, oh god, better than the alternative, which is taking damage. It's adrenaline rush. It feels like it's moving faster, that would explain it. Because it is literally moving faster now. I think that's why I uh, didn't reload that one time, because I, I didn't realize that I was out of ammo because I was focused on time, not number of shots. Is that an unfriendly fire bullet? I don't want to touch it, but it looks like it's an unfriendly fire bullet. Was it unfriendly fire? No, it was uh, thermal clips, adrenaline rush, and then something else. Man, maybe it was unfriendly fire and I didn't notice. I didn't notice any of the shots uh, bouncing back, but maybe it, that's because the range on the helix is such that it didn't matter at all. Like it wouldn't have come back anyways. There's no blanks on the floor. I've used them all, so there's no point in actually looking for the secret room. Let's go down to the next floor. We've got ammo. That's important. We've got ammo for the mine cutter. Oh, you know what? It, I can totally find the secret room, but I already found it. I'm an idiot. Like, I'm, as soon as I frickin... Open the chest? Yeah. As soon as I frickin get little bomber, completely forget about it. Good run so far, I'm liking it. I'm loving it, I want some more of it. Got six HP, mine cutter, little bomber. Little bomber is actually a pretty nice opener. Even though it doesn't explode on contact, maybe we can use it. Gun Q, ghost, cursed, poison. That was unfortunate. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of ghosts here. That 
room sucked. <laughs> Only got hit once though, and you know, that's gonna happen sometimes. D20 Shrine. You know what? No thank you. I've learned my lesson. Lobulon Rancher, Shockwave, Gun Q, Pot Shots. Right, Gun Q. Which is very unfortunate. Yeah. Pot Shots too. Gotta be careful. Got this freaking bullet following me. Oh my god. I can't find the enemies I want to kill. Where's Bullet Mage? You gotta die. How come you weren't dead yet? Okay, you're dead. You know what? Just save a little bit of HP, okay? This room sucks. Get me out of here, <laughs> please. I couldn't attack the red, well, I probably should have been firing at the red mages a little bit more, but I, I felt like I couldn't be shooting at anything because I was going to spawn blobs, run into shockwaves, spawn pots. Zone control, thermal clips, gorgon's gaze, high stress. I should have probably just been a little bit more aggressive. Uh, oh, you know what? That's fine. Got some armor back. Probably gonna need to buy a whole bunch of HP when this is all said and done. When this floor is said and done. Maybe even visit the D20 shrine, who knows. Gun Cube, Blobulon Rancher, last bullet standing. Zone control, oh, it's a ghost, right there. I can't freeze him. It's Gun Q. Uh, oh, and Blobulon Rancher, okay. The sling, hammer's fine. I want to try to maybe use one of these guns that I'm not going to be using all that frequently. That was so dumb. Oh my god. Okay, stop being an idiot, okay? I'm just letting blob spawn using my blanks. I'm already out of blanks. That should not happen. That is me not playing this room correctly. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I think I even had the Elder Blank ready. Potion of Lead Skin, yes. Membrane, yes. Membrane's good, but I am gonna stick with the Mine Cutter to start with. Probably use the Membrane when there's no Blob and no Unfriendly Fire. It's like right now. But having Potion of Lead Skin and Elder Blank is awesome. I've got multiple ways of preventing damage. Oh! <laughs> Freaking uh, final attack. Surprise final attack. Shouldn't have been a surprise, but it was. Thank you, dog. Okay, back up to full health. We got this. Open the chest. Mutation. I do like having one beam gun for certain boss fights, for certain phases of certain boss fights, especially the dragon. So that is totally acceptable. High stress pot shots, last bullet standing final attack means we switch to membrane. And we got a blank back and we're gonna buy everything in the shop. There's no blanks, but there is a key. We'll save that for the end. And skull spitter is not bad. I don't think I'm gonna buy it right now, but it might be something that I wanna think about purchasing in the future. We should be using Elder Blank and Potion of Lead Skin, not on every room, but on nearly every room. Ghost Thermal Shockwave Zone. Oh, it's zone, right. Okay, so we're gonna have to use that. 
might as well get the Potion of Lead skin active in case I need to use that in a second. I'm on fire. This is fine. We can we can wait. We've done the zone already. Two enemies left. As long as the shockwave doesn't doesn't spawn near me, I'm fine. Shockwave, I gotta I gotta find a way to get past you, okay? That's unfortunate. You know what? I'm just gonna rush you down. There we go, room done. <laughs> Potion of lead skin ready. Should not not uh, be afraid of using these. Unfriendly fire thermal clips along with the king, which means we use this gun. You know what, we, oh God, you know what, no. <laughs> For a second I was like, we can probably use uh, membrane, no, you know what. Let's not do that. Even the bloody 9mm scares the crap out of me. Hot shots, last bullet standing, Gorgon's gaze, gun cue. Ah, gun cue. <laughs> For a second I was like, why can't I switch my gun? That explained why. Um. Trying to figure out what gun I want to use. This is fine. I just need to use something. Is there another key drop? No, we must have picked it up. <laughs> also, whenever it's gun cue, I never remember that gun cue is a thing and that it prevents me from switching weapons. So I'm always like trying to tap the weapon switch button and I'm like, why can't I switch weapons? I must be hitting the wrong button on my keyboard. So then I switch in to like the uh, the other active item, and I'm like, that's the wrong button. Wait, where's the weapon switch button? Why can't I switch weapons? I've got to actually internalize. Gun cue means you can't switch your gun. Doesn't mean you're hitting the wrong button, you know? Oh, God. I dodged the wrong direction. Also, I can't shoot because I didn't do the zone yet. So that's my bad. Luckily, I hit him with the bouncy shot. But yeah, I took damage there because for some reason my brain didn't comprehend that it was gun cue. Not gun cue, zone control. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to keep track of in DD20 mode run. Gorgon's gaze, explosive power, ghost in the shell, on friendly fire. It's a big room though, so I don't mind using the uh, membrane here. Because I'm not likely to hurt myself. It is still possible, but I'm not likely to hurt myself. You know what? I screwed this up big time. Don't look at it. Also, don't hurt yourself. You know what I should be using here? Freaking just freeze his ass. There we go. Now we can use whatever the hell we want, like a uh Corsair, hammer, we spawned a Oh god, bullets are not mine. Corsair, stop bouncing, you scare the crap out of me. Okay, what needs ammo? Probably the membrane, I think? Yeah, we've been using it quite a bit. Take it for the membrane. But we got it, we gotta have mine cutter active when we enter a room. Just in case we can't switch guns. Oh dude, the med kit. I mean, I think it's probably better to have these items, but the med kit is so good. I wish I had a backpack. We'll come back with Elder Blank. As much as I want to like go into the, the room and see if there's something in there, but 
<sighs> Dude, medkit is awesome, but I feel like having two different forms of invincibility might be better. Medkit it heals like four HP. The potion of lead skin plus elder blank. That's pretty good. You got to admit. I want them both. Come with me. I've been to both both item rooms. <laughs> I want them. I want all three. <laughs> Yes, I know this is stupid. I just want to, I just want to get the Elder Blank charged. Ah, <sighs> spawn another blob. Ah, spawn another blob. Spawn another blob. I just want to get the Elder Blank charged and try. Try to pop a blank in the secret room and see if there's anything in there. But hey, you know what? I took one. Ah, that's not charged. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use it. Ah, I wish I could have kept it. It's not meant to be. Hot shots is scary. how the ghost died must have been the uh, the ricochet from the Corsair hitting him eventually okay we've got elder blank charge let's go into the secret room save my blank try to flawless the boss but we can pop this here open the brown chest <sighs> get the unfinished gun my god that is that is not good definitely a gun munch material or a, a DD or a D20 shrine material because sometimes it'll take your equipped guns. So you want to have a bad gun equipped. All right, so it's not going to be Wallmonger. It's going to be either Kill Pillars or the Priest. Honestly, if it's Kill Pillars, I would like that because it means that I can definitely go into the room. Pop a blank, and then hopefully, long live the king, gun cube. Hopefully, uh, destroy all of their bullets with a blank, and then not have to worry about the first attack. Elder blank is not charged though, so I'm going to have to use one of my own blanks to do that. That's okay. Do I want Skull Spitter? What am I going to use on Kill Pillars? What am I going to use on Old Priest? Helix would be pretty good. It pierces, so on Kill Pillars it would do dam a lot of damage. So would the Void Core though? Ah, Mail Gun probably not so much. I gotta think about the modifiers too, which are all basically well, excluding Wallmonger, it's basically don't be standing in certain places, which we can handle. And with using Mutation, I can also get rid of the poison on Kill Pillars if I really need to. Mutation would also pierce, so it might do a lot of damage. Yeah, okay, I think Mutation for Kill Pillars, Mutation plus, like, Membrane. Now, Mutation Helix for Kill Pillars, and for the High Priest, Cold 45 Helix? We'll see. All right, let's do this. So if it's Kill Pillars, I, you know, I actually don't need a blank. I could just open up with the Potion of Lead Skin and then go to town. 
What? The map is way too big for this. Okay, Night's Watch. <laughs> it, this is a very vertical map in that case. I didn't expect it to, to scale down that far. Okay, what are we what are we gonna use here? Probably straight up just Helix. We're not gonna light on fire. It's gonna take a while to actually do the fight, but you know. It is what it is. I accidentally used both blanks because I got scared. Oh, he shot me, fucker! This is the hard. This is the hardest fourth floor boss now. These guys are extremely accurate and very annoying with their shots. Like, I, I think I know what I need to do, and that's position, or not move nearly as much as I, I usually do. But this is, this is the hardest fight for sure. I don't quite know how to, how to handle it without taking a lot of damage yet. But yeah, like this makes the map very vertical with the wallmonger fight here. I did not anticipate this at all. That's okay though. We survived, we can get back up to full health. Why are we at full health now? Oh, must, must have been HP on the ground I picked up. We didn't flawless the fourth floor boss, whatever. We're alive. Ah, screw that, let's just go down to the next floor. Mine cutter, plus membrane as usual. If I had more blanks, maybe I could have done it. And if I didn't freak out and use both of my blanks at that one moment during the fight, I maybe could have flawless it. But basically, uh, for a split second there, I saw the shot was about to come in, but I was too focused on dodging to really pay attention to whether or not I had switched away from Potion of Lead Skin back to Elder Blank. So I popped my own blank and tried to use the uh, Elder Blank at the same moment. That is not how you want to do it. Rast, uh, rat, Ghost, Adrenaline, Blink, Stress, and there's only a Skelly Man? this. Probably gonna be reinforcements, but, you know, with Don't Blink, that should be pretty simple. And you know what, I might as well just, you know what I might do? Just use this. <laughs> Don't get hit by anything. Look, I have the opportunity Use the gun, I'm going to use it. Oh, I know what room this is gonna be. It's gonna be the uh, hammer time room. But at least it's the middle exit so I can get out before the second hammer falls. Gun cue, dark, rat, poison, gaze. Don't look at it. For a while there, I was like, why can't I shoot? Right. Got Corsair. I mean, what I should do it probably is uh, order my guns the way I want them to be. Let's take a moment to do, to do that, okay? We're gonna drop everything. We want them to be in a specific order for gun queue. I still got some more. These guns won't disappear if I drop them. Okay, so we're gonna start always with... Guns, uh, guns that I don't want. And guns that I do want. We want membrane. Then we want a couple of not very good guns, something like Unfinished Gun Corsair. Helix is something I'm not gonna be using all that much. And this doesn't work. 
Okay, now we want good guns in order. So, ah, sling as well. So now we want good guns in order. We want you, 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 you. So now, if we have gun key with mine cutter, the next gun will be cold 45, A key, void core, hammer, magnum, mailbox, rogue special. That's a pretty good order for gun Q. Should allow us to get multiple kills on enemies before we have to worry about uh, using worse guns. Uh, yeah, this seems like a pretty easy room. In fact, with Don't Blink, this is how we're gonna do the room. Hello! You got awfully close, awfully quickly. Might be a little bit cheesy, but hey, you know what? It's Don't Blink, and I've got Corsair. I cannot think of a better opportunity to use this combination. There we go, we've done the room. <laughs> it's also a really great opportunity to get your actives recharged if you've used them, so I need to use them a little bit more. Unfriendly fire, blobbing line rancher, final attack, zone control. You know what? Oh, 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 there's a blob there and it hurt me. I did not see him at all. I thought I landed all my shots. <laughs> okay, whatever, it's fine. Potion of lead skin, ready to go. Final attack, split apart, dark was a knight, was in pursuit, last bullet standing. This combination to me says membrane. almost exploded on me. Let's be careful about that. Potion of Lead Skin, ready to go. Shockwave, high stress, explosive fire, unfriendly fire. I tried to use it in, during the middle of a dodge roll. God damn it. It's because I've got the freaking Elder Blank, and the Elder Blank you can use in the middle of a dodge roll because they changed it, but the Potion of Lead Skin you can't. So now, uh... <laughs> Now sometimes I'm trying to use my Potion of Lead Skin in the middle of a dodge roll. I wish that they didn't make it so that you could use the Elder Blank in the middle of a dodge roll because of this exa exact situation where I'm, I am I have one item that I can use it and one item that I can't use it. I, you know what I wish? I wish that, Gull's Revenge, we're gonna have to keep moving. I wish that they made it so that when you have the Elder Blank active, if you used a blank, it would use that first. That way you could actually uh, a little bit more easily these are items. Zone control first. Then we'll worry about killing things. I gotta actually fire at some point. Just kinda move back and forth. Any of these that light on fire, they're dead. I just gotta wait for him to kill themselves. Now an enemy will spawn in the room I'm in right now, this little kind of alcove. So when that happens, I gotta move out. We gotta kill it very quickly so we can focus on the other one, which is up there. Too many hammers, dog. Far too many hammers, dog. Glass Guanstone, huh? Shockwave, high stress, pot shots, zone control, and friendly fire. Crap. You got very uh, hectic all of a sudden. Holy cow, there's a lot of enemies here. You know what? I had to blink, because it's high stress. There really have to be four gun cultists. My god. That's a little much. Oh god, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> I don't want to freeze him, so let's not do that. Um, oh, 
Honestly, I think these chests might be easier than the other chests. The other mimics. Because you can stand away and then just dodge their shots a little bit more easily. I think. Light them up. It's not the one I wanted. That one. He's stuck on a barbecue pit, though, so we're going to kill him. Chest teleporter. That is pointless. Actual trash. Membrane's almost out of ammo. Oh, no, it's not. I thought I had 11 shots. I'm at 111 shots. It's much better. Lobulon, final attack, long live the king, high stress. Goal's revenge. Thank you, thank you, bloody 9mm. Elder Blank charged. Shock rounds. Could hurt me, so probably not gonna take it at all. Extra Blank is good. Quad laser. Quad laser, huh? I think we'll probably buy the quad laser. Maybe get some good use on the dragon fight. Yeah, yeah, I could see that being useful on the dragon fight. When we have the uh, Potion of Lead skin active, we can actually stand away, activate a lot of quad laser shots, and then when they land, they'll, they'll hopefully recharge the item a little bit more quickly. Curse ceramics, thermal clips, final attack, don't blink, high stress. Thermal clips, final attack, don't blink, high stress. Maybe I shouldn't have let him get so close to me. It's not pot shots, it's cursed ceramics, not pot shots. Okay. That's good. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think he would die in the one shot. That was dumb. You're not going anywhere, dude. Where'd he go? He didn't give me the, like, he's dead sound effect. He just kind of fell in the pit and then disappeared. Ghost, adrenaline, thermal, shockwave, don't blink. Oh, thank God for the don't blinks. Should have known. Ghost. Okay, okay, okay. Should have probably used the membrane there. It wasn't anything too bad. Ah, uh, you're the last bullet standing. Also, I gotta knock some pots out. Can't shoot. Lost my ability to shoot. You know what? Give me a second and kill some pots, please. Hey, first wave done. You are not gonna have a good day. All right, not half bad. Squeak. Helix? I would rather take cold 45. I would rather take ammo for some uh, room killers as opposed to boss killers. I've got a couple of good boss killers. Now this is interesting. I can get rid of my curse for probably like ten, five or 10, for 10 coins. Oh, walk away. That's gonna be good because it means that I can uh, get rid of the curse from holding the elder blank. And if I do that, then I can have less jammed enemies in the future. 
Gorgon's Gaze, Last Bolt Stain, Blind Action Zone Control, Poison Pursuit. Okay. I had to move. My time had come. On the blob. Saw that happening. Okay, did not see that happening. <laughs> you know what? There's another blob. The blob's gonna die though. He's gonna walk into the, my poison. How come I keep forgetting? <laughs> There's a thwomp there. Unfriendly fire, final attack, pot shock, supposed to fire, blobby one rancher. Yeah, I don't think those guys can actually suck up my bullets. Which makes it very easy to kill them. And there is an ammo drop on the shop. I'm gonna save that for the mine cutter at the end of the floor. Long live the king, final attack, supposed to fire, adrenaline rush. Reinforcements. Yeah. I do need to clear my curse at some point, but this is the last chest on the floor. Not a mimic. Contains the charmed bow, which is trash. There's a secret room. We have little bomber. Contains HP and armor, which is not bad. And. Now we can do shop stuff, but first, clear the curse. It's not a cursed run, I don't feel bad about doing that. How much was the shock rounds? 163, I can't buy that in the ammo, so I'm just gonna buy the ammo and the HP if I need to. And in fact, I should have left the armor in the secret room so that I could have kept it going down to the next floor if I needed it. But for now, we're just gonna be using mine cutter and quad laser. Elder Blank, Potion of Lead Skin. Let's do this. Um, I need to have... I didn't pick up the membrane! I dropped the membrane! Holy shit, that is so dumb! <laughs> well... Oh, fucking Christ, are you kidding me? There goes the Flawless already. Uh, membrane's actually pretty good for that. But yeah, that's, uh, incredibly dumb! This is fine. Incredibly dumb. I really wanted that gun. <laughs> But you know, it's it's not that that bad. We actually have the membrane. The membrane oh, seems to be okay at dealing with the uh, the shots. It's very unfortunate that it took damage like immediately on the fight, though. We'll say that much. Should have used elder blank, not my own blank. That was stupid. But we're not flawlessing anyways, so. Go to the next phase, please. gonna kill the heart with? Probably, honestly, quad laser. So we'll s get some quad shots going out. Dude, nice. Elder blank not charged, so I've got one blank that I can use during this phase, which we should definitely use. Okay, not a bad dragon fight, let's be honest. Not a bad dragon fight. I should have definitely been able to flawless that though. I only got hit once, and I could have been much better off about using my uh, Elder Blank instead of my Blank during that one hit, and then I should have been able to, uh, to just not get hit from that bouncing bullet. But, I, you know, it happens. 
It happens. We've got decent weaponry. Oh, right, I should take, uh, you know what? You know what, taking mine, or taking quad laser shots not that bad. Or ammo for the quad lasers, not that bad. Seems like it might be a pretty good weapon to use against boss fights. <sighs> Means we're a little bit low on mine cutter ammo, but you know, we've still got the membrane, we've still got the cold 45, void core assault rifle. We have guns. We have guns we can use. And we should use the membrane whenever it's not unfriendly fire Blobulon Rancher. Blobulon Rancher, so we're not going to. Use my own blank. I should not have done that. Used one blank. Not terrible. Not good. Hot shot, poison pursuit, Blobulon Rancher. So again, I can't use the gun that I want to use. Oh crap. I knew I was getting hit somewhere. Oh, I rolled into the pit! Fucking. Ah, damn poison everywhere. Oh, this is this is the end. It's coming. Blobs everywhere. I rolled into the pit again. Oh my god, I'm so bad at Gungeon. I I took damage from poison. What what is with this room? It's ah okay 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 okay. Relax, relax, relax. Let's use something else, because obviously this is not working. <laughs> Let's use the cold 45 and the A key, okay? It seems like a pretty good combination. We've got Elder Blank ready. Don't blink, final attack. Long live the king. Ghosts are gonna be annoying, but can't do anything about them really. Honestly, I should be using something like the uh, hammer. Got a little bit of spread to it, so I want to get rid of that if I can. Yeah, cold 45. Membrane. Zone control. Thermal clip. Shockwave. Hey, I can use membrane. Why did you weapon switch me to the wrong gun, you piece of shit game? Oh, it's. Oh, no. Oh, no. I screwed it up. There's a king. I didn't notice there was a king. Yeah, we're gonna die on this room. I can freeze enemies at least, so I'm just gonna keep shooting even if I can't hit anything. You know what? Oh, God damn it. I didn't realize there was a king. Why didn't I realize there was a king? I wish I had the Crestfaller, that would be better than the Cold 45. This is the wrong way. I don't know why I thought that the right side would be the one that looped around. That was totally the wrong way. Thermal Blob. Well, you know what? I don't care. I don't care if we spawn blobs. This room is filled with blobs. And we've got Poison Pursuit. We can spawn a couple more, okay? <laughs> Cold 45. Thermal Clips. Final Attack. Poison Pursuit. There we go. Thermal clips, explosive power, gun cue, goals, revenge, rats, revenge. This room sucks. Gotta kill those guys. Ah, oh, 
Fuck, there's so much stuff going on. You know what? So hectic every t every room. It's more hectic than the last one. Everything's exploding everywhere. Dark blob, explosive pyre, poison, long live the king. Long live the king! And of course Batman's the king. Oh, it's explosives. It's Blobby Long Rancher too, I think, yeah. I'm definitely spawning some blobs here. So you know what? Keep moving. Just look in front of us. Where are the blobs? We spawned. Are they all dead? No, they're not. Still don't know which side this is going to loop back on. I'm going to assume left. So let's go to the right. Could be wrong, but... Won't know till we try. Should not be rolling if I can avoid it. But unfortunately, can't always avoid it. Killed by the poison, that's the big no-no. Okay. Four shots, you know what? Get rid of them. We're gonna be using... Oh my god, come on. There we go. Cold 45, Void Core. Zone Control. Dark was the night, shockwave, rat's revenge. You are the last bullet standing. And you are the shockwave right next to me. Perfect. I mean, at least we got the zone done. Okay. Good stuff. Slowly rebuilding our stock of HP. Don't blink, Rats Revenge, Gulls Revenge, Shockwave. Oh, God. At least it's don't blink. Did it really have to be... Curse Ceramics, Shockwave, Gulls Revenge? Also, you should not be shooting. Oh, fuck! Try to like flip a table to get around him. I am uh, <laughs> not playing all that well. Gold's Revenge, Adrenaline Rush, Blobby One Rancher, Poison Pursuit. Poison Pursuit, Blobby One Rancher basically tells me just shoot and run. Blobs will die eventually. Gotta die. Don't, 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 don't get poisoned. That would be very dumb. Do not poison yourself. We are actually almost to the boss fight. There's only, uh, or this is the third hub zone, so I just need to find the correct path, and we are, we are there. This is gonna be, you know what, just pop it right now. This room is gonna suck. What hit, oh my god, I got hit twice by something. Is it like an unfriendly fire or something? What hit me? What hit me twice? I can't, can't even tell what's going on half the time. Shockwave, Thermal Clips, Don't Blink, Adrenaline Rush, Bobby Wanna Rancher. 
Didn't even see you. I tried to roll into him, but he got out of the don't blink light because it was adrenaline rush and I had rolled once and that caused it to speed up just enough that he was able to hit me. That sucked as a way of ending the run, but hey, we made it to bullet hell. It's not that bad. Although I think I did get pretty lucky there. Didn't even use the sling, but I used the heck out of that mine cutter membrane. Elder Blank was pretty good. Potion of Lead Skin was pretty good. It was a fun run. I had a lot of fun with that run. I, I, this is disappointing that we didn't make it to the Abbey. And it's disappointing that we died on Bullet Hell. I wish that we could have taken that uh, med kit, though. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have uh, dropped the Potion of Lead Skin, kept the Elder Blank. We also had no coolness, so we couldn't get any of our active items charging any faster than they were. Ah, but good run. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry about how it ended, but like the video anyways. If you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.